Alright, YouTube, uh, we're back with part two of my game collection. Infamous. Let me uh, make a little simile here. This game is electrifyingly fun. It's, uh, it's addicting, and you can play it over and over again and never get bored. Little Big Planet. One of the best games on PS3. Just sheer fun. Just run around with your friends, jump up and down, do stupid stuff, make makes uh, levels, play other people's levels online. It's just if you have a creative imagination, that game is amazing. It'll be Planet Two. Sequel to the first. I like the first, so I had to go pick up the second. Three times better than the first. And it actually has some, um, a story that is somewhat makes sense. Madden NFL 10. I like football. Uh, Madden 10 has some drawbacks, like the graphics weren't all that great. Uh, but they started introducing the ultimate team in this game, so it was it was awesome. Madden 11. After my Saints won the Super Bowl, definitely had to pick up this game. Drew Brees. Man. What what else is there to say about Madden? Madden is amazing. I'm good at it. And I love football, so. Medal of Honor. To me, this is better than any Call of Duty game that's ever came out. It takes skill, and you can't just run around like a chicken with your head cut off. You have to actually work in strategic patterns with your team to get the kills and win. This game is awesome. If you like first person shooters but you don't like Call of Duty, go pick up Medal of Honor. Naughty Bear. Now, this game was like a gimmick gift. I got this game as a gift and it's fun. I mean you're a teddy bear that runs around with a machete and you chop up other teddy bears. How much more fun can you get than that? Red Dead Redemption. Another game I could care less for. I really don't like it. I mean, it's alright. But I just couldn't really get into the campaign or nothing. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare zombie version of Red Dead Redemption. Now this one is actually fun because I mean I'm a fan of zombies as you you heard me tell you earlier in the Call of Duty World at War. I'm a fan of zombies so this game was actually pretty good. Rise of the Argonauts. Paid five dollars for it. It ain't worth a dollar. The graphics suck. The character's voice animation doesn't match their mouth when they're moving or uh, talking I mean but um, if, if you see this game in a store don't even pick it up it's not worth even if it's 50 cents it's not worth wasting your money Smackdown vs. Raw 2010 this game was fun I'm still trying to get 2011 I haven't been able to get it yet but uh yeah, this game was fun. The online kind of made me mad because people don't know how to just play for real. They just sit there and they spam the same thing over and over again. It's Toy Story 3. My favorite Pixar film. If you liked the movie, you're going to like the game. PlayStation has exclusive where you play a Zerg that is fun you get his own car you get to shoot his gun with the tennis balls in it and it says it's supposed to be like a child's game but I'd like to see like a four-year-old beat this game this game actually has some hard parts in it Terminator Salvation <sighs> easily worst shooter I have ever played in my life. That's like all there is to say about it. It just sucks. 
Uncharted. I heard about this game a lot, so I went and picked it up. And I didn't play it for like two weeks after I bought it because it really didn't look that interesting. But I finally put it on my PS3 and I could not put the controller down. It was amazingly fun. Like, just, it's it's like a male version of Tomb Raider. It's like the best I could describe it to somebody who hasn't played it before. But it is very fun. If you own a PS3, must buy. Another one, Uncharted 2. PS3, must buy. Graphics are amazing. The story is sick. And there's not much more to be said about it other than if you own a PS3 and you don't own this game, you need to go sell your PS3. But, yeah, uh, YouTube, that's my game collection. Please leave some comments, video responses, anything you can. Alright, peace out.